Hi there, I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, polyester tennis strings. Polyester is a plastic, and it's one of the most popular materials used in the synthetic family of tennis strings, another being nylon. Although some exceptions exist, polyester strings typically feature a single polymer with a monofilament construction, which means it's a single solid strand versus multiple strands or filaments that you'd find with other options like synthetic gut or multifilaments. In 1991, Luxalung quietly introduced Big Banger, the first polyester tennis string, and a few years later they released Alu Power. However, it wasn't until 1997 when Gustavo Quertzen won the French Open using Luxalon that this new type of string would start to turn heads. Early on, the reaction from pros was mixed, with some players believing they should be banned as an unfair advantage, while others saw it as the beginnings of a shift in our sport. Fast forward to now, and polyester strings have cemented their place as one of the most popular on the market, with Luxalon still regarded as one of the best. If you're looking to enhance your game's topspin, then polyester strings are an excellent option to consider. Their low power allows players to accelerate racket head speed to generate maximum topspin without the ball sailing long, while the slick surface and elasticity ensure they quickly snap back into place to enhance spin further. However, the latter assumes a player has sufficient technique and racket head speed to cause the strings to move out of place or deform and subsequently snap back. Beyond spin, polyester strings also have the potential to help deliver exceptional control for players. Polys are inherently stiff, resulting in less power, which combined with enhanced top spin allows players to carefully dictate ball placement. Another area polys outshine other strings is their durability, or their capacity to withstand breakage under pressure. If you're a big hitter or chronic string breaker, then polys are an excellent option to help prolong the life of your strings. Of course, another option would be to increase the gauge or thickness of your strings as well. Finally, low string movement is another advantage polys offer because of their propensity to snap back into place. Less string movement helps ensure a more consistent hitting surface, while also preventing players from having to continually straighten them while playing. One of the biggest trade-offs players will make when opting to string with polyester is comfort. That's because they're on the stiffer end of the spectrum which means they'll impart more shock and vibration to a player's arm. Of course, all players perceive comfort differently, and your racket will play a significant role as well, but relative to other strings, they're generally harsher, so players with arm injuries or discomfort should weigh this in their decision to use them. For many, less power is one of the main reasons they gravitate toward polys, but this quality isn't beneficial for all players. More specifically, beginners and early intermediates who tend to have short or compact strokes and are working to improve their technique will benefit from the added power and depth of shot that other strings can provide. Another area where polyester strings tend to exhibit lower performance is with tension maintenance and playability duration. Said another way, they have a tendency to lose their tension fast, but their performance often drops off rather quickly too, which subsequently requires frequent restringing. To be clear, these are generalizations, so various polyester strings you come across may perform better or worse in some areas. If you opt a string with a poly, you'll need to decide on the gauge and tension you'll be using. All else equal, a lower gauge or thicker poly will be more durable, while a higher gauge or thinner option will offer greater topspin and feel. Beyond gauge, if a player is moving from natural gut, synthetic gut, or a multi-filament, then I'll typically recommend they drop their tension for polyester by roughly 5-10% to to help offset the string's stiffness and then experiment from there. It's worth noting that many polys perform well at surprisingly low tensions, so there's an opportunity to explore dropping tension into the upper 30s or 40 pound range if you're up for giving it a try. More generally, lower tensions enhance perceived power by increasing the ball's trajectory when it leaves your strings, while higher tensions have the opposite effect, which translates to greater control. Hybrid stringing combines two different strings, one for the vertical mains and another for the horizontal crosses. Often, polys are combined with a softer multifilament or natural gut to strike a balance between their contrasting performance characteristics. It's worth noting that the string you use in the mains will dominate the overall feel, 
So using a polyester this way will offer a stiffer, more control-oriented hitting experience. If you'd like to learn more about hybrid stringing, be sure to check out my guide, which I've linked in the video's description. As your strings wear, they'll begin to form notches at the intersections. These are helpful to keep an eye on because as they get deeper, they'll be more likely to break. However, beyond visual indicators, if you begin to notice a drop in the control, spin, power, or the comfort of your strings, it may also be time to replace them. The duration or length of time that passes between string jobs will vary widely from player to player and depend on a variety of factors. If you'd like to explore this topic further, I'd encourage you to check out my video on how often to restring, which I've linked above. If you're interested in trying out polyester tennis strings, then there are a few questions I'd encourage you to ask yourself before taking the plunge. To fully reap the benefits of polyester tennis strings, players must first develop sufficient technique and racket head speed. Generally, players who reach an intermediate level will be in a position to start benefiting from this category of strings. If you're suffering from an arm injury like tennis elbow or experiencing general arm discomfort while playing, then you'll likely want to steer clear of polyester, or at the very minimum, string it as a hybrid. Polys tend to lose their tension and decline in performance rather quickly, so you need to restring them often to maintain them. If you can't afford to regularly restring, then they may not be the best option. At the very least, it's an important consideration. The health and longevity of kids playing tennis is of utmost importance, so I usually encourage parents to steer clear of polyester strings to prevent injury. Of course, every child's development will differ, but for most, I wouldn't recommend introducing them before the age of 16 with a strong intermediate to advanced skill level. One of the biggest complaints about polyester tennis strings is their lack of comfort. So string makers have introduced soft polys to improve comfort, while maintaining the core performance characteristics you'd expect from this type of string. However, it's important to keep the promise of these strings in perspective. Although they do improve comfort relative to other polys, they're still stiff, with similar pros and cons that you'd find with any polyester string. In fact, softer polys often struggle more with tension loss and performance longevity, so you want to keep that in mind with this type of string. If you'd like to learn more about polyester tennis strings, including my picks for the best, be sure to check out my guide, which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.